Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to another broadcast of WHEI New Center 10 Live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Com Media and Communication from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. New Center 10 Live at 5 is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned in as well tonight for our social segment as we check out the pulse of Berg students and find out what they're thinking about on the hottest topics. Coming up, middle schoolers in Akron received some musical inspiration. And also, Heidelberg is up for a jam-packed weekend full of fun. In social, we will check out today's top trends, and in sports, we will have some winning Don't touch that remote. WHEI Live at 5 starts now. Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to WHEI New Center 10, live at 5, for Thursday, October 9, 2014. I'm Stacy Hartley. And I'm Dan Klish. Let's get started on our first story of the night. Shake it off, live in the moment, and find a way to have a good time. That was the promise that musical trio Time for Three charged 140 middle school students to keep after performing at E.J. Thomas Hall on Wednesday. The group consists of two violinists, Zach DePew and Nick Kendall, and a double bassist, Rain and Meyer. The trio treated the students to classical and pop mashups like Beethoven and Stravinsky with Mumford and Sons and Katy Perry. After their crowd-pleasing performance, Time for Three took the time to talk to their audience about their shared hardships with bullying and finding confidence by rising above and laughing it off. The Obama administration has now put into action additional health screenings and aid to early detection of the Ebola virus. The virus, which recently claimed the life of Thomas Eric Duncan, has been proven not only to be deadly and spread quickly, but nearly symptomless. According to the Associated Press, Lauren Neergaard, the screening will begin at five major airports in the United States and will involve taking temperatures with and dispersers. In addition to airport health screenings, Several nation leaders are requesting of fellow nations and the World Bank for monetary and provisional aid. An Akron man accused of murdering a prominent attorney and his wife is charged with multiple accounts of ag aggravated murder. murder. The Summit County, in Summit County, a jury has sworn in for the case of a 20-year-old, Sean Ford Jr., who is looking at the death penalty if convicted. The case had its start in early April of 2013 when the employee who was remodeling a lakeside home in New Franklin found the bodies of 56-year-old Jeffrey Schobert and his wife, 59-year-old Margaret Schobert, inside their master bedroom. Autopsy records revealed that the nature of the Schobert's death was homicidal. An alleged accomplice was arrested soon after and was also charged with aggravated murder. Ford is awaiting trial in the county justice system as an adult, but cannot face the death penalty under state law because of his age. The trial is expected to last until late next week. After years, the city of Akron has began to gather research on the benefits and hazards of students walking to school. While the full report is expected in November, many parents and citizens of Akron have already started to voice their opinions in support of recognizing the dangers. With the recent cases of missing or injured students, the Safe Routes to School program is emerging as a new and effective solution. The program involves groups of around 20 students walking to schools together to provide a stronger buddy system approach and to promote safety. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have your biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University.
In the heart of Heidelberg's campus lies the Fireside Cafe and Pub, featuring a relaxing and engaging space welcome to the public. Fireside's menu includes sandwiches, salads, wraps, desserts, and even a soothing latte or coffee, offering a wide selection of exciting new and wholesome food options. Fireside Cafe Pub also serves a variety of refreshing drinks to accompany its cozy atmosphere. Come experience Fireside's new fall menu and visit us on Instagram at Berg Dining Services. Hello, my name is Cameron Jernigan. I'm the current president of the Culture and Spiritual Club. I would encourage everyone to join Culture and Spiritual Club because it's a learning experience. And you come to Heidelberg for one thing, and that's to learn. I feel like it's a great way to get out there to learn cultures and bring us all together. Unity is one thing the school preaches, and you'll definitely get that. So if any of this has uh, sparked your interest, I encourage you to come out. Our meetings are at 615 on Monday in Campus Center 225. Welcome back to News Center 10, live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. Greek Sing is an annual event that has been a Heidelberg tradition. It's an event that attracts a lot of parents and alumni. Greek Sing gives all of the groups a chance to show off their talent as well as their sense of humor. Each group performs a routine using music and a show choir type routine. The event encourages the Greek unity because there is no winner. Instead, Greek Sing is a time when the groups can have fun and show their support for the other fraternities and sororities. Be sure to come out and support all of Greek life tomorrow, October 10th, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. in Cyberlane. Professor impacts students, the community, and fellow faculty members. Professor Vanessa Cook has taken up the roles of technical director, costume manager, and adjunct professor here at Heidelberg University. Cook is a Tiffin native, a Baldwin Wallace grad, and is currently working on her completion of her master's degree. She has also been married for almost 20 years and is a, a mother of four young boys. In addition to her actively involved theater background, Cook impressed Professor Tucci through her work in the community music school. WHEI was lucky enough to hear from Professor Cook as she shared her excitement to be a part of the Heidelberg community. Hi, I'm so excited to be part of the combined Heidelberg University School of Music and Theater. And I hope to bring a new energy uh, to develop the theater program and teach students all areas of technical uh, design and production in theater, including set construction and costuming, and really have an all-around program where students can leave knowing uh, at least a little bit in each area of the theater. Professor Cook is currently teaching two theater classes this semester and is working to improve the organization of the costume closet and set design spaces. Her impact on campus is great and Professor Cook continues to find new ways to touch students' lives. The Academic Enhancement Committee will be hosting Academic Jeopardy this Sunday, the 16th at 7 p.m. in the Aramark Room in Horniman. The event will be hosted by Dr. Brian Saxon. Teams of up to four can compete and have at least three students and may have one faculty or staff member. A cash prize will be presented to the top three teams, but faculty and staff have prizes. The event is scheduled to last one hour. So, Stacy, Greek Sing is coming up this weekend. Are you excited? Yes, it is. I am pumped. I am pumped. Are you going to be dancing? Oh, I'm going to be dancing for Roy to Delta okay. and for Delta Sigma Chi. Yes, you will, and so. I'll be dancing for Delta Sigma Chi as well, so Good. obviously I'll see you on there a few right. times. Yep. And um, we're going to be taking a little... Journey to space. Oh, are you? Yes, we are. Well, Delta Sigma Chi's is a secret. Obviously, you know. So right. I'm not going to divulge any secrets on air. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm excited. I think it's going to be a success. So I'm really excited. I agree. Excited, I so. agree. I'm ready for it. Definitely. That's all we have for Berg's Campus News today. We'll get into all of the latest news and stories from the social media world next. News Center 10, Live at 5. We'll be right back. I'm Coach Hartzell. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Hey, what's up? I'm Bella. Flores. Yo, what up? This is Vinny Guadagnino. I'm Nick Ken. Hi, I'm Aziz Ansari. That was your line. You can help by joining DoSomething.org. DoSomething.org. That's why I'm teaming up with DoSomething.org. <laughs> Hey, 
gotta help these guys. Help Ricky Rubio save a life at Heart Rescue Now. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus. That was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption. Hello and welcome to our Social Spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trending today in the world of social media. It may seem like the hype over the celebrity nude week is old news, but Jennifer Warrens is finally calling out the hack. In an interview with Vanity Fair magazine, the Hunger Games star described the event surrounding her own involvement of the week as a sex crime and not a scandal. Warrens also stated that laws regarding the most recent online craze need to be changed. Selena Gomez is continuing to prove that she is more than Justin Bieber's favorite on-again, off-again girlfriend. E! News reported that the 22-year-old singer and actress recently paid a visit to a children's hospital in Los Angeles and took the time to stop and hear stories, give hugs, and visit with each patient. Selena is also celebrity ambassador for the Ryan Seacrest Foundation. The organization's aim is to contribute positively to the healing process for children and their families during their stay by developing these centers to bring an uplifting spirit to the hospital communities. Now let's check out a special package by News 10 reporter Scotty C. I'm Scott Carpenter and you're in Campus Social Time with Scotty C. Welcome to the WHEI TV 10 Special Report. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scott Carpenter, and today is a very special honor as Jackie McMullen speaks to students here in Cyberlink, just on the other side of this hallway. Got the opportunity to interview as well after. Let's go in and check it out. All right, catching Jackie, she walks off stage here at the keynote address, and Jackie, how was it? Oh my gosh, it was tremendous. It's a great crowd. I'm so glad there were so many students here. That's been my favorite part, is talking to you all. You got great questions and good insights, and uh, I've had a wonderful time here. Absolutely, and that's awesome to hear. Glad we could be home to you. And um, just got four questions for you real quick. And the first one is, this might be tough, but in this profession, when did you look at it and said you realized that you had made it? When I had made it? I don't know, boy, that is a tough question. You know what, I think it was the day that Larry Bird said, hi Jackie, how are you today? I thought, if Larry Bird knows my name, I must be doing something right. That's awesome. And as I told you, I grew up watching around the horn, so I kind of want to know what it's like when those cameras go off, though. Does the banter continue? It often does. <laughs> uh, some of the best stuff is off air. Uh, right. But you know, I didn't know everybody on the show when we first started, but we've really all become like family. My favorite thing is when we all go to a major event like the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. we always have around, an around the horn picture at those events, so it's pretty nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. And then, last question is, for all of us young kids out there looking to be journalists and going at it and doing radio at school and things like that, what is the biggest piece of advice you could give us? Because one day I do want to be like you. Right. I would. I would make sure I have a print background. That's what I tell everybody. Even if you want to go to TV and radio, make sure you know how to write, make sure you know how to report, and develop. This is the time as a young person to develop your voice. If you develop your own voice, the sky's the limit for you. Awesome. All right, thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. All right. thank you. All right, thank you for tuning in to this special report. Got an opportunity, great opportunity to interview Jackie McMullen up there on stage after the keynote address. Just an awesome person who's spent a lot of time here at Heidelberg in the past couple days expressing her knowledge in the field on to us for this special report, back to the studio. That's all we have for our Social Spotlight segment. Now let's send it back over to Stacy and Dan at the desk. Thanks, Allie. 
boy, having Jackie McMullen here was totally an experience. Yes, it was. I, I was glad she was here because it's something that we wanted to get into, yes. especially. And then there were me, you, and eight other media students who all got to have, sit sure. down and have a private lunch with her, which is fantastic. Yep, here at the station, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. And then, exciting. and then we got to sit in on her radio interview with John Sparr with WTTF. And yes, that was, that was awesome. cool. I've never witnessed anything like that before, Neither so that was I. that was awesome. And it was just you know the stardom here on campus was a big deal, right. and she offered top notch advice. Yeah, so. and at, at all of her sessions, they they were just jam packed with students. Oh yeah, for sure. So she's. Inspirational, and I look forward to seeing her on Around the Horn and everything else that she's on because, oh, yeah. you know, she makes rounds, so she yeah, does a she good does. job. It's time to throw it back over to Allie to take a look at today's top sports stories. The Heidelberg University men's soccer team has been busy this fall season with a full schedule of games. The team has had twice as many games on the road than they have had games here in Tiffin. Currently, the men's soccer team has a winning record with five wins, four losses, and three ties, with two games going into double overtime. In an interview with coach Brian Haley, WHEI learned about the powerful members of the men's soccer team and how their season is going. He states, the members of this squad create their own destiny. I expect them to win every match they play. Every game is our toughest game because the bottom team could be the top team in just one game. The men's soccer team are on the road once again Saturday at Muskegon. Five Heidelberg softball players have been named National Fast Pitch Coaches Association NCAA Division III All-American Scholar Athletes for the 2013-2014 season. Jamie Wagner, Paige Adderholt, Aaron Chapman, Kendra Pratt and Kyle, Kayla Bryant were all recognized by the NFCA for their academic accomplishments. Wagner led the student princes in hits last season with a .322 batting average on the year. Adderholt finished the season with a 3.01 ERA, which was good enough for seventh in the OAC. Chapman also had an exceptional season pitching, finishing fourth in the conference with a 2.6 ERA. Pratt saw limited action as a freshman, playing in 23 games, primarily as a pinch runner, scoring 10 runs on the season. And Bryant saw playing time in 21 games as a freshman, picking up 10 hits in her 38 at-bats. That's all we have today for your Heidelberg Sports Report. Let's send it back to the desk. So, five softball players were named to the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association <laughs> Scholar athletes. Yes, that is amazing. That is yes. good for them. Yeah, that's that's you know really awesome. And I know that Heidelberg, you know, it seems like a small school, mm -hmm. seeing as we're D three. But you know what? We have a lot of good scholar athletes, right. and just you know, athletes, athletes in general. Exactly. So it's, it was awesome. I remember the I one time that I was a scholar athlete. Yeah. I played tennis uh, my sophomore year, and I. I was a scholar athlete, so I was happy about that. Okay, yeah, I'm, you know, and honestly, I think I should stick to the scholar part. I don't want to damage right. the athletes with my lack of coordination. That's, so. that's fair. You know, so each is in her own, so right, exactly. we'll stick with it, but they're doing a fantastic job. So. Thank you. Yep, no problem. When we return, Legos cut some ties. WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. Another adventure with Savings Man. Oh dear, I can't afford that. Charge it. You can pay it off later. Not so fast, credit card guy. Savings Man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, Savings Man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at choosetosave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, Savings Man. No, thank you. So visit choosetosave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. Think you found every hazard out here today? Think again. 
mist could be a killer. That spot on your skin could be skin cancer. If you're a man over 50, you're in a group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the kind that kills one person every hour. That's why your best shot is to check for a spot. Follow through and check your skin. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out how. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Welcome back. Now it's time to get ready for our final story of the evening. Since the 1960s, the Lego company has built play sets branded with the Shell Gas logo. In July, an organization called Greenpeace circulated an online petition calling for the logo to sever ties with Shell, who, who Greenpeace has accused of operating recklessly and exploring for oil in the Arctic. As part of its campaign, Greenpeace released an online video called Lego, Everything is Not Awesome, a spoof on the hit song that played in the new Lego movie. The Lego company has decided to cut ties with Shell, and Chief Executive Jorgen Nudstrope gave the following statement. We are determined to leave a positive impact on society and the planet that our children will inherit. Wow, um, I can honestly tell you I was not even aware at all that the Legos had the Shell logo on it, but you know, I totally stand by their decision either way. I, so. I agree with that, and I, I did know that actually. Oh, did you? Yeah, actually, as, as I was reading that story, I remembered that I've seen it. Gotcha. Yep. Well, you know, I think they're doing a good thing. I think Shell can handle, you know, one less endorsement. So right, I think exactly. every, all will be right in the Lego world, I yeah. feel. Well, thank you for watching WHEI New Center 10 Live at 5. Our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Thanks for joining us for tonight's program. And be sure to tune in next Tuesday at 5 p.m. for our next broadcast. I'm Stacy Hartley. And I'm Dan Klish. And for Allie and Margaret and Ben and all of the WHEI production crew, we thank you for watching.